Let me, let me put the mic on you. I want to put the mic on you. Wait, open. Huh? What happened here? Oh. <laughs> this though. Thank you for watch the video. <laughs> now I am. Good day YouTube. Welcome to my channel. My name is Darren and this is Sophie. My amateur radio call sign is N4 Fi. And in today's video, I'm going to show you some tips on setting up your Thetis. Only a couple of tips. In this segment, I want to show you how to make a uh, automatic startup or an automatic boot sequence for Thetis or any other programs. Like when you first turn on your computer or when you have to reboot your computer, it's gonna automatically start the program. So look for File Manager. It's called File Explorer. Okay, open up that. Um, right here in a quick access, you see where we have startup? I put that there. I'm gonna show you where this file is located and how you can put it on a quick access. So you can quickly copy paste applications to start up programs automatically. So where we go, we need to go to your disk PC and then go to your local C drive where your operating system is located. Just double click on that. Here you have a couple of hidden files, the ones that are like um, grayed out. It's this one here, this one here, and these two here. So we want to see that. Where do we go? We need to go to View, and right here to the right column, there's a Hidden Items box. Put a check mark there. So once you have that check mark there, now you'll be able to see the hidden items. We go to Program Data. Just double click on that. And then we look for Microsoft, double click on that. Then we go to Windows, double click on that. And then we have Start Menu, double click on that. Programs, double click on that. And then here, Startup, just double click on that. This is where you drop your programs to automatically start when you reboot it, when you boot, reboot the uh, computer. So let's back up one subdirectory, left arrow. So let's put this startup into the left column where we have quick access. So how do we do that? We do a right mouse click on startup, and then you there's a option to pin it to the quick access. I've already done it. I don't need to do it again. So that's already there. Startup. See? Now how do I get the programs to go into that folder startup? It's really easy. For example, let me just delete Thetis from there, right? So down here, I'm going to move it up here. So this is the Thetis application. Do a right mouse click and then we want to copy it. Now go back to your quick access of startup and then do a right mouse click and then paste it. And then just click OK or just click on continue. So it puts it already there in the startup menu. That's all you need to do. So Thetis is going to start up, and so will my Mercury Lux amplifier remote control. Okay, in this portion of the video, you know how sometimes when you transmit, you get that big flare, um, it, and it's, it's very um, disturbing when you transmit and then unkey. Or when you tune, for example, the frequency is clear. I'm going to tune here, and then you unkey it, and you get that big 
surge looks like you can see it there on the waterfall that big surge there's a way to eliminate that and uh, I want to show you how to do that let me try my transmit also November 4 Victor Foxtrot Romeo testing see when you unkey you get that big surge look at that spike looks like uh, especially when you're operating closer to the edge of the band uh, and then that transmission may go across uh, the other side where you don't have uh, amateur radio privileges right so where do we go go to setup I'm gonna move this right here so you guys can take a look at that and then you go to display and you see where you have purge WDSP buffers on MOX you put a check mark in that box apply it and click OK and then that solves your problem so now when I tune I tune up right now and then unkey you don't get that surge of power or when I transmit testing one two three three two one this is November 4 Victor Foxtrot Romeo test complete and you unkey it you don't get that surge of power okay the last thing I just want to quickly show you is the automatic turning on of my Anon 7000 DLE mark 3 so you go to setup under general tab you go to the options go to options number two and in the middle there's this subdirectory or sub box called other and to put a check mark in auto power on at startup so when you start up Thetis it's going to automatically turn on and let me demonstrate to you that turn it off close out of Thetis and then I have Thetis application here just one click and three radio is already turned on and it's going to automatically restart there it is bam automatic restart of Thetis how do you like that November 4 Victor Foxtrot Romeo testing all right and if I want the amplifier on I just click on my Mercury Lux amplifier get it out of standby testing one two three three two one and four VFR testing one two three three two one there we go my uh, my pure signal is now activated and for VFR test complete Bam! you don't get that surge automatic startup working well thank you for watching my papa's video my name is Darren and my amateur radio call sign is and for VFR and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please consider to subscribe it motivates us to make more videos for you guys until next video have a great day 73's